Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your B-Brain V2 in the Betaflight Configurator tool. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the tool, open up Google Chrome, then you're going to want to type in Betaflight into Google search, and you'll want to hit the first result. It's going to bring you to the Chrome store. Go ahead and hit Add to Chrome, Add App. It's going to install real quick. Once that's done installing, go ahead and open up. You can close Chrome at this point. Now you can go ahead and plug in your B-Brain V2 to the computer via USB. Once you plug that in, the COM port should automatically be selected. Go ahead and hit connect. Once that's connected, we're gonna go ahead and go to the configuration tab. Scroll down. You can change it to whatever name you want. So I use Goose, so I'm gonna hit Goose. Uh, we're using a spectrum board for this example, so it's going to be set to the spec S bus. It's going to be the same for both. And down here for the receiver, you're going to use the spectrum 2048. If you're using FR Sky, it's going to be S bus. Go ahead and hit save and reboot. Once that finishes rebooting, go ahead and hit connect again. Now we can go over to the receiver tab. At this point, you're going to want to go ahead and turn your radio on. And now we're just going to double check that your radio has good connection to the receiver and all your channel maps are correct. If you need to switch the channel mapping, you can go ahead and go over here to channel map and choose whichever one you need. Whenever you're done, hit save. Now we can go over to the modes tab. Here we're going to be setting up your arm mode and your flight mode settings. So first we're going to add the arm. I'm going to put this all the way over to the side and just set it to this 1800 range. I have mine set up for AUX1 by default on Spectrum radios, they should default to that. And if you're using the FR Sky tutorial that I made, you'll see that we made it on AUX1, so you can leave that. For my flying mode, I like to leave it in Horizon, and I will turn on Air Mode, so that way I can still do flips easily and have good throttle response at zero throttle. Go ahead and hit Save. And now you'll want to hit your switch on your radio and make sure that you see those modes are being lit up when you go into them with horizon and air mode, flipping your switch back and forth. Everything looks good. So now we can go ahead and move over to the OSD tab. This is all gonna be personal preference. So for me, I like to turn the Betaflight logo off. I'll move my handle to the middle. I'll move the VTX channel to the top corner. Voltage down, I like to turn off the fly mode and then I'll push the RSSI up to the top corner and the timer down to the bottom corner. I'll hit save and that's how it's going to show up on the OSD in my goggles. This is totally personal preference so feel free to do it however you like. After this you're ready to go fly.